Given a network and a line, the shortest pathfinder will calculate the shortest path from a source node to a destination node in that network. You can define the weight of a path by its length or by an attribute. On the transformer, you pass in a network and one or more from two lines. A from two line contains a source and destination node and can also contain intermediate stops before the final destination. The path port will output the shortest path for each from two line. Each output feature will contain the attributes from the original from two line. The no path port will output any from two lines for which no path could be found. That is, there's no way to get from A to B on the network. These output features will contain no geometry, but still have the original line's attributes. The unused port will output any network lines that weren't used as part of the shortest path. And the rejected port will output any nonlinear features from the input ports. This transformer accepts as many from two lines as you want. You only need to pass in the network once, and then you can ask it to calculate as many paths as you'd like. In this example, we have a road network of the streets of Vancouver and a data set of address points. We want to produce a map where, for every resident, we know the shortest route to the hospital. We'll use the 2D point adder transformer to create the from2 input. If we add the coordinates for the Vancouver General Hospital to every single point feature that comes in, we'll end up with a bunch of line features representing the A to B paths from the address to the hospital. Another potentially useful transformer to use when creating your from2 lines is the point connector if you have two points that you want to connect together to form the A to B path. You can also use a new custom transformer called the From2 Builder, which is available as a free download from the FME store. Next, we'll send our network and the From2 lines into the Shortest Pathfinder transformer. In the transformer parameters, we can see a few options to choose from. The weight of each input line can be determined by the length of the line or the attribute specified. If you set the weight type to by two attributes, the algorithm will consider the input lines bidirectionally. So the original weight can be defined here, and the weight of the reverse line can be defined here, both as non-negative values. If you specify a segment attribute list, this will hold the attributes for each network feature that comes out of path. Don't forget the features coming out of path will contain attributes from the from to line. This list also contains a direction attribute that will indicate the direction of the segment. Finally, if the points in your from to lines don't exactly line up with the coordinates in your network, you have the ability to snap the points in your from to lines to the closest endpoints in the network. But the points will only be snapped to the network nodes if they fall within the tolerance that you specify. For the sake of speed, let's cap the input from two lines at 500 points. So let's attach an inspector to the output path port, which will show us the computed shortest paths. And to the source feature types for reference. Finally, I'm just going to paste in a creator that shows the point where the hospital is just to make inspection clearer. Then we'll run it, and the inspector will show us all the shortest paths from the address points to the hospital. If you really wanted to get fancy, you could then use a test filter to extract just the address you want. So you'd make a published parameter where the user can enter an address, and then set the filter to just get the feature with that address. Thanks to FME, we now have the shortest route to the hospital ready at our fingertips from any location in Vancouver.